Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm a little loud, I think. It's me, Will. There's something going on on my screen right now. And, uh, you know what? Let's just cut over and take a look at what's occurring here. Oh, oh boy. Uh, Ian's here. Ian, say hello. Hello. Uh, Jake <laughs> is here. Jake, say hello. Hello. Uh, sorry, I had to do the emote. I was trying to get the emote to work. <laughs> hello. And to Sarah's watch it all here. happen, because he's never played an Animal Crossing before, it's Kyle. It's me. I have no idea how this game actually works, and I barely know the concept, so prepare for dumb questions. I'm very... I'm I'm very excited for dumb questions because Animal Crossing is inherently dumb. Um, so we're gonna you know just hang out, check each other's islands. There's not like a ton to do. I like, don't think multiplayer wise. I was thinking of having like a fishing competition or something. Um, that's about it. That's all I got, folks. We, we could do that. See who gets the m most money in fishes. Yeah, ooh, that's an even better thing. Oh, you have different stuff in your store. Oh, yeah, you should buy oh, it. Oh, dang. Is yeah, the stuff go sold out or... in the back? Uh, yeah, the two things in the back are. Because I bought a urinal, and it's the greatest thing I've ever purchased in this game. I can't, I can't get in the store. Um, I made a killing on the turnip market this week. So, you know, I figured I'd buy myself a little something. Oh, my God. What? I did a smart thing and I brought a whole bunch of peaches and I'm getting 44,000 bells for them. What? Wait, give me some yeah. of the peaches before you sell them. No. Oh, then you don't get any of my take, pears. You can take the peaches from my island. Wait, okay, so bells are currency? Bells yes. are currency. Sorry, Kyle. Yes, bells are currency. Um, this is Timmy and Tommy. They're Tom Nook's children and they run the store. Called Nook's oh, Cranny. Nook's cr that sounds so dirty. It really does. And every day they it sell is. things. Uh, there's two, uh, at least for now, there's two things that you can only buy once. And then these things you can buy as many times as you can. Wait, so is there, you said there's like a limited time to buy them. Do other uh, island dwellers come in and buy stuff? They, not really. It's mostly you. Um, but everyone's island, in, like, between me, Ian, and Jake, we all have different things sold on different days. Oh, okay. So if, like, Jake was like, hey, is that, if anyone ever gets a dishwashing rack, yo, send me a text. Like, like, yeah, text I need a like, dishwashing yeah. rack. And then today, Will would not tell him. Yeah, and I would <laughs> buy it and then gloat about it. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Um, over here, this is something new uh, to this game. They have... I don't, is the cabinet new? I can't remember if... I don't think there was a cabinet. I think the cabinet's new. I, I don't it's think it not... was a cabinet before. In the in first Animal Crossing, all of this stuff was in rows, like down yeah, several. I think that was the same. And thing. it would have individual wallpapers and individual things. And so I think this was they had the tech to put it all in one cabinet now. Right. So to save gotcha. stuff. this stuff changes pretty much every day as far as like a different umbrella, sometimes different recipes down here. The whole crafting system is new to this game. Um, so I'll let you figure that. Out. Wait, so are those cards like there's like a six? These are all uh, almost seven thousand bell. Okay, those are recipes, and those are seeds for flowers. I'm guessing. Yeah, the one thing the I crops. don't like is it doesn't seem to tell me if I already have this recipe if I can buy it. Yeah, I did notice that too. Um, which I don't like. Um, and then the other thing this game introduced is that bells, uh, bells tools are breakable. They have to like. Keep crap. Oh, so it's like they stole like my least favorite thing from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Great. Well, so certain tools were, were breakable in the first game, and you would have to you couldn't craft new ones. You'd have to go order a new one from the shop, which sometimes took upwards of a day to what arrive kind of, in the mail. What kind of tools was it back then? Like just oh, like big, an, like big an tools? axe. Okay. Your axe could break if you chopped down too many trees. I don't remember things like the fishing rod and the net having durability, but you could definitely break the axe, and I think you could break the shovel. Is it like a reasonable? Hey, Zach. 
Is it like a reasonable amount of time before stuff breaks, or is it like, oh, you used it three times, it's broken now? Uh, the first, the, in this game now, you start with a flimsy, like flimsy, whatever the tool is, and then you uh -huh. can get the regular version, and the flimsy one, I think, lasts like 10 uses, and then you have to make a new one. But it's pretty soon after that that Tom, Tom gives you the recipes for the slightly more durable ones. Gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah, and it kind of works out. Um, it's weird, the flimsy tough. shovel, I feel like it lasts forever. Um, versus like the flimsy fishing rod, I feel like I caught like 10 fish and it's gone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you guys want to go to the plaza, I can then go show you my house. Mm -hmm. um, so this is resident services here, Kyle. Um, mm -hmm. It's currently under construction uh, because they're upgrading it. So I can't show you any of that. Is this like a town hall kind of thing? Yeah. So the yeah. other Animal Crossings just had a town hall. Uh -huh. um, but this one, uh, it's like, since you came to a desert island, you're kind of building it up from scratch. So when you, when you first got here, there were no buildings at all? There was, yeah, there were no buildings except for a little tent for residential service. Gotcha. Okay, so this is my house here. We got a little crafting. Ooh, okay. I'm on my way. A tree here. Where's your um, house in relation? Just so I uh, It was just near us. Right, it's northeast us. of the plaza. Got it. Okay. Follow the river. Find the museum. Got it. Uh, this is my little garden. I got a little gnome. No, no. Yeah, he's <laughs> That's nice. I like he's that. pretty great. Um, wash bin. And then if you hop inside, just knock on my empty house. <laughs> well, I like to <laughs> knock so before I barge in. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't get in my house, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, well, okay, so this is the oh, second... Yeah. Uh, so you start with a tent, and then you, from a tent, you buy a house, and then as you can then further upgrade your house, this is the second upgrade to the house. So I've got it's very open concept. A bit of room. Yeah, very open concept. I've got a bathroom over here with a urinal, uh, and then there's a is that fancy a Japanese toilet. Is that a grasshopper head? Yes, there is a grasshopper head. Oh Actually, gosh. it's a praying mantis. I'm pretty sure. Praying mantis. Um, so I'm wondering, in regards uh, to... So this, this, is, this is inappropriate. <laughs> the house gets upgraded as you pay off your loan, which was the same in the first game. But in addition to that, Tom Nook would upgrade the store. Like when you paid off your loan, he'd be like, oh, great. Now I can expand my store. But that's not how the store seems to work in this game. So I'm wondering how many iterations of the store there are and when it gets upgraded. Yeah. Because it uh, you, you ended up getting like a, like a two-story like Ikea Dropping, type place. Yeah. If you paid off enough of your loan, you could buy so many things. Yeah. Wait, so what um, yeah, is what is the see. loan you started out with? So the uh, first house was ninety eight thousand bells or, or ninety eight thousand, yeah. And then this yeah. one is a hundred and ninety eight thousand bells. Oh wow. Um, yeah. So I, I got this cool hearth that I actually crafted this. Um, and then I got uh, there this is a bidet thing today. Zach, there is a bidet. It's it's right here. <laughs> Next to oh, the right. toilet, you just have to get up a little bit and then and then go sit in the on the bidet. <laughs> so that's the toilet, and here's the bidet. Yeah, just sit on that. So you just Did you that. sneeze <laughs> on my bidet? No, I my sneezed toilet? on Ian. <gasps> Interesting. Oh, turn on. Mm. Um. So yeah, I got a cool ship in a bottle. Uh, this game keeps giving me girls' clothes. Uh, Karen says it's trying to tell me something. I was just gonna say it's definitely uh, trying to tell you something. So. That's about it. Okay. Uh, next, let's go see Karen's house now that uh, we're good. It's Is so home? weird. I we can't remember if New Leaf did this, but I don't remember being, like turning your camera this much. Like this much freedom the inside your house. It, yeah, I don't think it... I can't remember. I'm going to pull out my coffee, coffee. My copy of New Leaf oh. this weekend, probably. And So if you follow me south... This so is Karen Karen's is playing house. second player. Yeah, she's right. second player. Karen, big fan of Giant Bomb here. Um, actually, I made oh, that. Oh, nice. Um, I, I used to do a lot so of pixel she... art, so doing it in the designer's cool. Okay, because I've seen people putting, um, they have like album art covers and stuff, and like yeah. you can make so shirts there's a thing and where then share them. There's websites that you can do like a QR code thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that. So this is the custom designs app. They bring you, they give you these ones, and then these two I made. 
So, oh wow. Um, let me just show you quick. Well, y'all are seeing oh, my Subpixel right sweatshirt, right? Yes. Which, yes. Hopefully, I'll be able to share with you all soon. So I'm gonna pop into Karen's house here. Why does she have a cool <laughs> crest on the front of her house? Oh, this mirror lets you change. Oh, change your. your this is Karen's house. Subpixel She's got code. the washing machine, so I gotta come over and do the wash usually. Whoa, it's some pretty intense uh, wallpaper. Or just wall. Can't change the music because it's not my house. Um, little AC switch there. Oh yeah, what is my? Can I get undressed? Uh, oh, I have please. very full pockets. PG thirteen, please. <laughs> Look at my cool hair. Very cool. Oh, that is cool. I'm also like six or seven seconds lagging. Yeah, I, I realize I should have set up Parsec for you, but I. No, you're I fine. failed as a host, you know, as I often do. <laughs> Can I get a gumball? Oh, that's. Are you dancing? Mm-hmm. That's so good. It's that an emote looks... you unlock later. <laughs> no, you're pulling on the thing, you <laughs> dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. It actually, looks like you're dancing. Jake is very happy. I'm I'm oh, excited boy. for the dancing. <laughs> oh wait, let me uh you know guys, I realize I can play along. Stop it. <laughs> <gasps> Where did you get that? Uh I got this recipe from a message in a bottle. Oh, I want that so I want a pan flute. <laughs> so now I I can play along when Stairway to Heaven. When KK plays Stairway to Heaven, this is literally when Karen first crafted one. She came over to me and just spammed this, and we could not <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> Classic. I think for her birthday, I might try to buy her a cheap ocarina as a joke, and then smash I mean, it in front of her and tell her never I think, again. <laughs> I think you can three D print one if you ever get your printer working. Yeah, I, I, I just have never have any time, you know. No, I don't know that. <laughs> How's that? Should we do a COVID nineteen check? Yeah, on everyone. Actually, you guys go first. I do have a bit of an announcement involving okay. COVID. So I'll go first. Ian, you can go last. You'll you'll bring up the rear yeah. like you usually do. Um, yeah. I'm working from home. Uh, it's going pretty well. Uh, I'm not as distracted as I was. I've like set up a real regiment for myself, so uh, mm -hmm. it's fun. Uh, I haven't left the house since last Friday. Um, I should probably go for a walk at some point. Uh, I bought three new Gundams to build. <laughs> Heck yeah. Because uh, there was a big sale. Um, but other than that, just hanging out. I've been playing a bunch of video games. Uh, I've gotten to the point in Diablo 1 where I have played through the first 10 levels twice to level up. And I can't get past these one demons, so I installed Cheat Engine, and now I'm just invulnerable. And I'm just oh, killing you know everything. What? Oh, you're saying Diablo 1. So I played Diablo 2. Yeah. The only time I've ever played it was with this really weird Russian mod pack. But it made it made you overpowered, but it also super overpowered every enemy in the game and made, like, dozens of them as opposed to one. And it just made the game so much better. So I, I highly recommend modding Diablo 1 and 2. Okay. It just makes it insane yeah so so i'm gonna try to beat one i'm just gonna beat one this way because i i realized when it came out people would have that kind of time um yeah. to keep replaying and getting better gear but i don't um mm -hmm. so i'm gonna beat that and then i have diablo 2 i actually bought diablo 2 from blizzard but i used a reseller because i don't necessarily want to give blizzard my money right now. Um, yeah that's a fair point so uh, I'll head out to that too. I beat Doom Three, which I already mentioned, uh, and that's about it. Jake, what is your COVID nineteen update? Well, uh, uh, so we are in two hours. The county will be under uh, shelter in place for two weeks. So I packed up all my stuff from the office because I had been working in the office up until this morning. Got it all set up here, um, and uh, yeah, that's where I'll be for the next two weeks. Nice. That's I don't have good. the virus currently. Good. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, Kyle, what's your uh, COVID-19 update? Uh, this is 
week two of me working from home. Um, it's been pretty good. I mean, I can do about 90% of my job on the computer anyway, so not really much has changed as far as how I've been doing stuff. It's just a matter of like what we're focusing on now. So a lot of, I work in insurance. Uh, so a lot of people are asking about COVID-19 stuff and it's a lot of setting up interviews and doing like webinars and videos and stuff. So it's been pretty topical, I guess you could say, but otherwise pretty normal. Just haven't really left the house other than to get, you know, groceries and stop at, you know, like Walmart or something to try and pick up some essentials. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's, yeah, most of my job can be, or all of my job can be done from home, so it's kind of worth Yeah. Uh, okay, Ian, we've made it back around to you. Um, how was your uh, team situation? Yeah, so uh, similar to Kyle, I'm at two weeks working from home now. Um, I've worked from home before. I think I worked from home for like four weeks, four or five weeks straight before because of uh, when I broke my elbow. So it's not that big a deal, um, but uh, I haven't left the house since Sunday. Um, been doing some gunpla. It's not too bad. I'm liking it so far. Um, two updates. First one is apparently we have multiple offices for my work, and two people out of the Dallas office tested positive for COVID-19. Oh, so boy. Dun, dun, good thing. Dun. Good thing we're working from home now. Also, good thing I didn't visit the office when I was in Dallas two weeks ago. Um, and then the second thing is that, uh, Maggie, my fiance, her sister's grandfather-in-law passed away last night from coronavirus. Oh, no. oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Uh, New York City, uh, which wow. is the epicenter of the pandemic now internationally. Um, yeah. I bring that up because there was a special request relayed to me this morning, and I said I would relay it to all of you. It is that, um, a couple of weeks ago. I believe, or, or a month or two ago, um, my sister-in-law, or soon-to-be sister-in-law, has a one-and-a-half-year-old kid. And the child only met her grandfather, her great-grandfather, once at a birthday party. But they didn't get pictures of the two of them together. So there was a request relayed to me this morning if I could Photoshop this child <laughs> in with her now-dead great-grandfather. And I said, I don't want to do it, but I'll ask the <laughs> subpixel crew. Um, Some I mean, that could have photoshopped. yeah, I, I, I can take a stab at it, but man, am I worried about the results? <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's that's my big coronavirus joke, which is uh, completely real. That's uh, crazy. <laughs> Uh, quick question: Is this is this Rossetti's manhole cover? Uh, no, it's just a manhole cover that it, I think one of the guys gave it to me. Yeah, Rossetti's out of a job, man. Um, so Wait, Kyle, who wants Rossetti? to tell Kyle who Rossetti is? Oh, we'll get there in a second. I just shown Kyle. Uh, I dug up these fossils and now I'm giving them to Blathers, who is the Wait, are you curator in the museum? The I gotta museum. go see your museum. Oh, he's okay. I've heard about him on Twitter or seen his name a lot, and I had no idea who he was. He's great. Yeah, and apparently it takes several days for the museum to get set up, so people were like hoarding everything that they wanted Blathers to look at or to yeah. identify You'll be or doing whatever. That. Yeah. Oh boy. So, I'll take wait. you on a tour. Oh, please do. But just just to clarify, um the days in Animal Crossing mirror the time of day that it is in reality, right? Yes. Okay. And the and the calendar as well. And like, and the calendar. Okay. Yeah. So like real world events like um I don't remember if they had like a fourth of July event or stuff, but but um there will be events in the game that mirror events on your actual calendar. Does it take into account like weather? Like if it like snows in your area, will it like snow? Or... I don't think it does no. on the, uh, a specific of a scale, but the the region changes with the seasons. Like there'll be snow in winter. Oh, okay. So it's like, will... it does yeah. like hemisphere. But you can yeah. also select, this is the first game where you're, I think it's the first game where you could select a Northern or Southern hemisphere. Gotcha. So if I wanted to, I could have uh, done a Southern one. So I don't want to show you too much of the museum because I know you're planning on doing a video, but 
Oh, oh yeah, we should not show this to Kyle because he oh, needs to see it. Give me, oh, give me, tickle my fancy a little bit. You know, yeah, I, I won't him. do. I'm not gonna do the fossils. I'll do the fish. Okay, let's go to the okay. fish. Yeah. The fish fossils cool. you should discover on your own. It's honestly breathtaking. Okay. Really this is the cool. best the museum has ever been. It's, it's so good. Uh, Blue uh, Waters nine fifty six says Twitch decided to start streaming this for me. Well, thank you, Twitch. I guess. Uh, and welcome. Yeah, that's Karen. Karen, oh, I told okay. you not to watch my stream. Wow. Thanks, Karen. Oh, this looks English. pretty. Can you um, fall into this pond like Michael Scott? No. <laughs> you cannot fall into the koi There's pond. A black bass. There's a, so it like tells you it, and then when you caught it. Oh, I should have brought... I've got fish on my island that, that you don't seem to have, and I want to get my name in your museum. Oh, does that's that, a good does idea. Does that work? Yeah, it tells you who donated the thing. It's, so we could donate fish to each other, or if we could donate anything so I, to each it, other's museum. Wow. Yeah, I wonder, because it wouldn't let me donate just now, because you guys are here. Oh, hmm. I know in... I mean, I could donate stuff to, like, a friend's town. Yeah, that's true. In the other games, but... I don't know. I guess I haven't tried it with this, so I'm not. Yes, yeah, museum's good. It's real good. It looks like you can put some pretty big fish in there. Yeah, I want to get a shark. Look at all these guys. Ooh. It's like Finding Nemo or whatever. I need by Karen. Good job, Karen. Can you knock on the glass and get like yelled at by the curator? No oh, wait. Why there's? That's what reception yeah, should be doing. Yeah. So, um, Rossetti, Kyle, is a guy who, when you didn't save in Animal Crossing, he would pop up and scream at you for not saving. Oh, no. He'd be like, uh, you didn't see, you didn't see this down. But it was, it was so that, um, the thing was, they, they assumed that if you were resetting your game cube or whatever that you were trying to cheat because you had done something that you didn't want to have oh, done um, yeah. okay. and so Rossetti would pop up when the system rebooted and would lock you in like a five minute unskippable stream of angry awful. dialogue <laughs> as and an even incentive if you didn't deserve it you were that. like no oh, let's wait so do, does he here. act the same way in New Horizon no because it auto saves so he has no he is not in this oh yeah. I, is there like leave, a reference I think, to him? auto save too, a little <laughs> bit at least. I can't remember. The uh, helicopter, the rescue service on your phone, the rescue service app is vaguely reminiscent of his character design. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys? Come, come to me. I'm back at the anchovies. I want to put our, I want to put our uh, faces in holes and take. <laughs> oh wait, you're still in that big room. Yeah, come back to the big room up top. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm returning. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking at the fish. That'll be a good photo. I want to know what goes in that corner tank in the first room, because I don't have anything in that tank either. But it looks like big fish would go in there. Okay, I'm here. Which which hole should I be in? Uh, you can be on <laughs> either side of me. Uh, move a tiny bit to your left. Ian, move a tiny bit to your right. <laughs> That's the wrong way. That's my right. Oh, sorry, your left. <laughs> a little bit more. Okay. And three, two, one. Oh, my, my character closed his eyes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, we got a good picture. You look very... There you go. That that one's better. Okay. I don't want to show Kyle any more of this museum. So let's go back out the way we came in. Yeah, I mean, I'm already I'm already pretty impressed, so... I'm excited and this to is, love it. If what you're seeing here, if you go back to any of the other museums, they pale in comparison. Oh, no. Like... Yeah size detail i mean detail regardless just because this you know noose console and everything but. yeah yeah hi karen you'd like to say hello to the stream say hello hi 
Oh, <laughs> Ian screamed. Hi. That's, that's uh, called peaking. That's Jake. He like she likes your sub pixel colors. Thank you. I spent way too long making this <laughs> coat. <laughs> Because trying to get like, because you design it by the front and the back, and trying to get the the lines to line up properly was a mess. Um, it's like the Technicolor uh, rain dream coat. coat. There we go, dream coat. That's the Technicolor rain coat. Technicolor rain coat. <laughs> oh, <gasps> someone's leaving. Wow. Yeah. I think I think it will stop by my island next. So let me run home and get a code. Yeah, that's yes, probably smart. Now we get to watch cold. you leaving. Oh, do you? Does he fly over oh, you look at or that something? Butt. Like, Are you wearing a swim? skirt? Uh, <laughs> I mean, here? hey, you're wearing a skirt. I noticed that you didn't put a, a message on the ground that you see when you fly in. It's because I, I don't. About it. I don't know where it is. It's yeah. It's kind of the same path for every island. The the Jake one is the first time I ever saw it, so I, I didn't know. It's east of the um, the platform. Yeah. Yeah, like you, you basically see like the southeast corner of the plaza, in the upper left. Gotcha. Question. Yes. Does your yes. does your character like need to sleep? No. 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 Okay, so you could just, I mean, play for like eighteen hours a day, and then play for another eighteen hours a day. Yeah, there are there are some restrictions like like the rocks and the trees and stuff. They they spawn items once per day, so it's not like uh -huh. you're running around getting infinite resources. And the stores and I believe the museum as well do close at night at some point. Okay. The museum's so, open twenty four seven, but the store is closed. Yeah. Does, is um, Blathers twenty four seven? Yeah. He's asleep during the day because he's an owl, but he'll wake up if you try to talk uh, to him. Yeah. But um, yeah, the game incentivizes you not. Oh. It wants uh, you to be patient. Did you have Celeste visit yet, uh, Jake? Is that like your ex-girlfriend or something? No, no Celeste she, is Blather's, Blather's sister. sister. I've not had her <laughs> visit yet. She came by like my third day. Uh, she and was ran. telling me about the stars and everything. Yeah, I think in New Leaf there, there was an observatory at the top of the museum, and she you ran that. Yeah, uh, I'm hoping uh, there's another observe. It looks like there's a spot for a scientist. Yeah, there's those stairs. I wonder if there's going to be an expansion. There's the stairs that go up above. Them. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to get the animal Oh, I didn't show you guys my Easter Island head. Hazel doesn't like the Animal Crossing Museum because her museum is better. That's just not true. Though. In in real life. In in real life. I think that's a bit of an unfair comparison. Probably. Yeah. Ian, are we ready to go to your uh, island Almost. yet? Almost. I'm about to put the code in. Oh yeah. Do you have to leave? Got it. Okay. Do I what? Uh, yeah. Do you have I to leave to my leave. island. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I can, I bet I can't go straight from your island. I have to go go back. Home, uh, this is my no. Easter Island head over here. Whoa, was that just there? Or did no, you put that I there? someone I either found it in a balloon or someone gave it to me, and then I put it here because I thought it was. That's like such a perfect outcropping for it too. Yeah. I want to like do something around it to make it kind of more mystical. <gasps> Looks like someone's leaving. I'm out of here, man. I'm done. Okay, my code is in the Discord, folks. All right, I'm I'm heading home, and then Will and I head to. You. What time does Nook's Cranny close? I thought it was like eight. I uh, think ten. Like ten. I think it's ten. Wow. I know they're open late. It's in the red light district. You mean Tommy loved to be. <laughs> Uh, I just gotta do it. They're, they're Tom Nook's oh, nephews, and we never meet the parents. Hug <laughs> right there. Local time is 9 30. Your skies and temperature is it's comfortable. Okay, two seconds. I gotta donate the stuff to Blathers. There's some inventory space. Alright, nice. and I'm, I'm landing back on my island. I'm heading to you in a sec. Okay. I'm gonna go pay off my home loan. Oh, I got more miles. Free miles. 
Uh, well, actually, hold on. Let me drop some stuff in my storage, and then I'll come to you. I realize I have to do that, too. Picked up all this crap on Hell's Island. <laughs> Although, the ex being able to expand your storage is great. So, you get oh, these yeah. Nook Miles, Kyle. Uh, they're uh -huh. kind of like... Uh, you have actual actual dailies at one point you get, but you're pretty much redeeming these milestones, and you get unlock miles. Uh, and uh, like with the miles, miles, you can... Yeah, pretty much. With the miles, you can buy... Um, you can buy different things that go on sale, so like sometimes new recipes. Some of it is like seems more like advancement stuff. So like I unlocked um, the better tools recipes, and like my character did a little dance uh, that they do. They, your character does a dance in this game that lets you know that you've advanced in the game. <laughs> he does like okay. a little do 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 do, and then he goes, "I learned how to do this." And like when you pay off your loan, he does a little dance. So um, it's exactly like real life. It's exactly like real. Um, stuffing all this storage. I shouldn't. I sold all my pears this morning. Chump. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's a whole new thing to this game. Um, it's kind of a neat layer. It's like a weird, like tutorializing it. And it always gives you something to do where uh, the previous Animal Crossings were very self-driven. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically just think of them as quests and the reward is a special currency that you could spend on new recipes, special items, or even tickets to one-off islands that have stuff on them. Gotcha. I also read that I haven't confirmed it or not because I haven't built the, the new Resident Center Town Hall yet, but up to that point, like... In the original games, and I think in the handheld games too, the music would change every hour. So there was like a 24-hour cycle of in-game um, ambient music. But this has had more or less the same music the whole time, except for when you go to other like special places. But I read that once you get the new Resident Services Center, then it changes to the 24-hour music cycle. Like everything else before that is the tutorial. Mm. Like 40 hours of tutorial or whatever. Could be wrong. Forgive me for talking so long. 40, 40 hours of tutorial does not sound fun to me. <laughs> that sounds like but, Assassin's Creed 3. But you're doing... There's a lot... If you have not played Animal Crossing before, there are a lot of n systems to like have explained and get, understand. Gotcha. Well, that's not reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> I'll visit someone. Okay, Ian, uh, Ian, I'm heading to you. Cool. Y'all come over. Um, so there's not a whole lot on my island. I started a day late because I couldn't decide my uh, island name. Uh, I was taking it way too seriously. And then I haven't been playing a whole lot. I've only been playing maybe 45 minutes to an hour per day. So I haven't really been booking it. Yeah, those first two days, I probably played like eight hours each. And then... Subsequent days, probably like an hour, but not more. Um, just because you get in like a daily groove. I was just going to say, it doesn't seem like a game that you would sink a ton of time into every day, but more of like a check-in kind of yeah, thing. It's, like, it's, yeah, do it in between stuff. It's, yeah, check in with your neighbors. If you know that there's like certain fish or insects are only available at certain times of the day, certain seasons, so you'd be like, oh, I know, um, you know, the X, the sturgeon is only available until the end of March at mm. night, so I might go get it. I don't know if that's true or not, but for Sure. So exciting. Sure. If there was, um, someone on Reddit made a free app for Animal Crossing. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It was called... Hmm. It was called Travel Guide. Yeah, here it is. And it's it tells you like what bugs and fish are currently available, um, upcoming events. So like April first, they got all their information. Bunny Day apparently. They might be data mining. Oh I know that there's some amount of that. Yeah. So this. Okay, you remember earlier how I said you can do best friends through the Nintendo uh -huh. Switch interface? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is apparently different 
best friends than that's what I thought than in the game. But yeah. I, why would they use the same term in two different places? Because like because on my friends Nintendo. list on Switch, I have you set as literally best friend. That's so. I that's <laughs> like I understand confusing, and like not easy to use. But this is just using the same exact term in two different places and not cross populating. Ian, have you that's... been to your store today? Yes. You're gonna buy yes. either nice the telescope, telescope or the. Google Ian, phone? are you doing something on your Nook phone right now? Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, it told me that that I couldn't get there because you were like doing, you were busy on your phone or something. Oh, I I had it open. Mm. To please end That's conversation. Weird. No, I'm not gonna I'm <laughs> okay. not gonna buy either of those things, Will. If you want to buy okay. them, I might. All right, I'm heading over. Oh, Too this much. is so good. These thicker dodos are gonna murder me. Full fledged bill play. Payer. Player. Payer. <laughs> oh, my passport title? Mata Nui? Bro. Mm -hmm. You know, from mm -hmm. uh, Lego Racer. That's mm -hmm. incorrect. <laughs> oh, it's Bionicle. From Bionicle? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know that's gotta be from Bionicle. <laughs> the worst Lego property. Oh, I'm just fighting words. <laughs> Bionicle There's is pretty a crap. video coming out mid-April. <laughs> hey, did you? Will I explain? I think the movie is is good. Like, I'm like sure the, I'm sure the lore is fantastic, but in terms of like Lego, <laughs> it's not good Lego. It's, the set or the it's, story? I don't know. <laughs> I would say it's more connects than Lego. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like Linux. It's it helped bring them back from the brink. It was the first construction line of toys. It was on the bleeding edge. Ugh. Did you, Ugh. Jake? Have you watched that the toys that made us Lego? Uh, I have not. I keep meaning to, but it's... I have not gotten around. The amount of times Lego almost went out of business is mind-boggling. I had no yeah, idea. Yeah, I talked about that in the video that's coming out in the mid. <laughs> but it's just crazy. I had no. I always thought Lego was like super profitable, like always made tons of money. No, Pokemon took a huge chunk of their market share for a long time. Yeah, it's mm. it's crazy. Do you know, do they talk about how many employees they fired over 1998 and 1999? I think so. 1,500. They laid off 1,500 oh people. Gosh. And Bionicle brought them back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. The prodigal son. But their biggest thing Still hasn't is returned. property stuff. But you know, did you know you the mean, like license property? They go to this in the show. The the reason um, there was one year, I think it was like 2003, that there wasn't a Harry Potter movie and there wasn't a Star Wars movie, and they almost went bankrupt because no one would buy sets. <laughs> oh, because they didn't have a license property. No, because they had Harry Potter and Star Wars. It was the only two they had, and they. No one was buying sets that year because there was no movie to make people buy them. Oh, I see. What you mean. So that was the year the Bionicle movie came out. <laughs> oh. um, okay, so there's not much on my island, but yeah, uh, where once, are you, once, Ian? Oh, once, I, I found you. Yeah. So let's. I just wanted to show my house. That's pretty much the only thing I've got going. Wait, on. this outdoors is is the most Ian thing ever. Long chair, fire, <laughs> the cast iron, cast iron. It's pretty great. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, cast iron is legit. Wait, so do you have to build a house? Um, once you pay off your first loan, he's like, "Hey, you want to move out of a tent and into a house?" And then you have. <laughs> this is the best house ever. <laughs> Guess stay on brand. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just imagining all those are like stained glass windows. <laughs> <laughs> it's this so dumb. Is the only thing I've done in this game and so just... far. The, a dinosaur's butt. There's <laughs> a duplicate. I had to show it off. Uh, did you see the people who are making random dinosaurs out of the different fossils? Oh, that sounds so it's good. So creepy. I love they made that. like two-headed ones and everything. This place is trash. <laughs> it really is. I've I just been like furniture. I gotta just shove it in here. I love that you both made subpixel stuff, and I made a giant bomb logo. <laughs> Where my loyalties lie. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, Will, if you want to, I left a bunch of peaches on the island. If you want to go shake some trees, make some money. Oh, 
I, sorry, I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go sell before I forget. I want to sell uh, pairs, pairs before they close. Yeah, but but I mean, if you want to run around and grab some peaches as well, at yeah, least I'm gonna plan. do that after this. Um, but yeah, so I haven't done a whole lot. I I've also like, I I really don't want to grind in this game, so I don't have any other residents up yet because I've only fulfilled like one out of like the 15 different furniture requirements. Uh, I just paid off my house loan, my first house loan. So I'm just kind of taking it easy. What is like, what's more valuable like on the item? Like what items are, are should you be focusing on if you want to make money? So, it really depends. Yeah, it depends. But I, I think some of the the easy stuff in a way is the fruit so so your island has a specific fruit like my island has peaches mm -hmm. so every day i'm gathering probably at least 12 to 15 peaches and then those peaches only sell for 100 each but at, at other islands that don't have peaches their main fruit they sell for 500 each oh okay so if you hoard your fruit and then go visit somebody else's island or visit somebody else's island and grab their fruit and plant it on your island you can always kind of have a, a nice fruit string um, I'm trying to think of other stuff that's easy. I mean, bugs and, and you, fish, you know, you know the rock stuff, right? Yeah, I know the rock stuff, but the rock, uh, rock stuff's not, it's not necessarily, it's not easy. You super know what I mean? But do you know the it's trick with the rocks? Easy. No, I do know that. But the problem is every day you have to go to those rocks. Whereas like, okay, if you okay. think about fruit, fruit is super easy. And no, you I, can cultivate new yeah. fruit trees. You can't cultivate rocks. Exactly. What, I just mean that you can so kyle you can hit rocks and they uh -huh. cough stuff out so you like do this trick which you can look up eventually to knock as much stuff out of a rock as possible but every day there's one rock that has like twenty thousand bells in it that you uh -huh. can knock out um and that uh, but but it's just like to... a random rock yeah mm -hmm. so you yeah. have to go find which rock it is on the island and then you oh, have wow. to hit it eight times in a row with i wouldn't call it perfect timing but you have to hit it with like some rhythm eight times in a row and every time you hit it it pushes you away so it's one of those things where it's like you can do it and you should check your rocks every day but i wouldn't really consider it an easy money maker hmm. um, there are good fish that you can catch I, with some frequency you can't really like determine which ones they are but red snapper sell for 2400 which is 600 less than they sold for in the original and then barred knife jaws sell for 5000 um mm -hmm. and, and then some of the the more uncommon fish sturgeon i think sell for 8000 and ore fish i think might sell for a similar amount um koi sell for like 2400 each um yeah, I so it just koi. it depends um, I think tarantulas are the other big money maker, aren't they? Ten thousand each. I believe so. They're nine or ten thousand. Oh, yeah. They're uh, difficult to catch. And... Yeah. So there's there's you can learn the rhythm where when you approach them, basically tarantulas come out at night. People were saying you can even terraform your island to make it easier or more likely to appear. They're ten thousand each. You can learn the rhythm to approach them so they don't really attack you before you get them, mm -hmm. or you could just dig holes and then they like run towards the hole and you catch them while they're stuck in the hole. Um, and there's people who catch like 80 tarantulas a night because they just spend a couple hours playing the game after dark and they just catch a bunch of tarantulas and then they just get a whole bunch of money. Mm -hmm. So that's an easy money maker. But I mean, honestly, I, I would say just kind of take it slow. Ooh, one more money making tip. This one you probably wouldn't think of is there's a glowing spot on your island every day. If you dig it up, it's money. But if you dig it up and then immediately plant the, like, select that money bag in your inventory and plant it back in the same hole, it will grow into a tree that has three money bags on it. Ooh, okay. So you just, if you wait a little longer, um, you'll you get, get more money. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never would have known that. There, there were there were also ways, I don't know if it's the case in New Horizons, because I can't 100% remember how to do it, but there were ways that you could grow um uh invincible tools on trees like you could grow a golden shovel and a golden axe yes. and a what? Fishing i remember rod, that yeah um, that so, didn't break yeah so i think i i did read about golden tools they're they're not coming from trees like like one of them is you get the golden net when you have when your critopedia for bugs is full and then you craft it like the other ones you just do like a net plus a gold nugget and they do still break it just takes much longer 
Mm. The other money-making thing that you will eventually learn is uh, the stock market. Which oh, boy. S-T-A-L-K. Yeah. Uh, so it used to be Joan. Now it's her granddaughter on Sundays will sell you turnips at a certain it's price kind of point. So on Sunday, I bought... Um, I bought 100 turnips at 90 bells each. So I spent $9,000, got 100 turnips. And then every day, morning and afternoon, Timmy and Tommy have different prices to buy those uh, back. Uh huh. Um, right, try going through the gate. I, I closed oh, it. There we go. Maybe um, you got to talk to this guy. So Timmy and Tommy. We'll buy it at different prices. So this whole week, they were super low prices, and I couldn't sell them. Uh, and then today, they were doing 180 bells each, so Karen actually sold all of hers today. What I did is there is a subreddit, which I used to use back in New Leaf, called the AC Turnip Exchange. And you can go there, and people post their prices. And then if you comment fast enough or you're patient enough, uh, you'll eventually be invited there, and you can. So I sold my turnips at 266 bells each. So wow. I made 26,000. Um, so, and so turnips, they go rotten by the next Sunday, so you have to sell them within that week. Okay. So it's a whole thing. Huh. Uh, it's very cool, uh, and you can make. I'm a lot maybe of asking you for that subreddit. <laughs> yeah. But literally, I just like keep refreshing the new. And then it'll it'll calm down eventually, but right now there's a lot of people playing Animal Crossing. Oh yeah, people just want quick uh, money. Yeah, and and people are playing it and won't stick with it for long, but in like a couple months, mm -hmm. a lot less people. But you can also just do it on your own island. You just, if you don't have a good price by Saturday or Friday, you could then go to the subreddit. Sure. Because I could be screwed by like. Maybe Saturday morning, one of the prices is 50,000 uh, bells. And mm. uh, then I kind of lost out. Ooh, there's a owl. <gasps> Jake wrote, Will sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from Poland. That nasty message on your message so mean. How could you? Hi, Timmy. Um, all right, my so island is uh, open, open for business. Okay, I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm selling these people. How much are you gonna give me? Twenty-five thousand bells. Ian, you had a ton of peaches. Though. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't harvest them today because I knew you guys would be coming. <laughs> I've just, I haven't been doing anything with them. I'm just putting them in my storage. Oh, one, one thing is, there's something with eating the fruit. What does that do? Eating uh, the fruit so you can break rocks. Like, after you do oh, to like get, get rid of them. all whatever, all eight or nine um, ores or minerals out of them, then if you eat a fruit, you can smash the rock and get a final mineral out of it. And then the rocks respawn elsewhere the next And you can okay. also dig up trees. Full trees. Like, oh, and, and keep the tree? And keep the tree. Okay, whereas normally if you dig it up, if you dig up the stump, it just goes away. Yeah, but you dig yeah. up the full tree, not a cut stump. Ooh. That's so it, cause it's I, like when I go to point, an island. I do want to like completely terraform my island so I like have all my resource management in a single area just to cut down on the time I run around doing chores. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've started to do that, of planting certain trees with certain fruits, it's like using the river as kind of a natural partition yeah. in certain areas, only planting certain fruit. Oh, I just hit local. <laughs> do you have well, to, yeah. um, like when you plant stuff, do you have to like till, like, is it like, Stardew Valley, where it's like you have to do like no. the whole farming. You don't no. have to be proactive about it, um, but they will take a certain number of days to grow. I've noticed actually that um, it seems like if you don't water them, maybe they grow a little bit slower. Because like I shoots that I I planted all in one day, and some are higher than others, and I don't mm. necessarily know why because I water it all. 
Oh, another thing know. with uh, the food. If you eat, so you get 10 at least starting. So you can eat 10 fruit and you got 10 super swings or whatever. Um, if you want to get rid of those, you can go sit on a toilet. Gets rid of them. Interesting. Hi, that? Savage Garage. He says he found a wisp. That's oh, pretty crazy. Yeah, I got the wisp too. He's a ghost. Very cute. I scared him and it scattered his spirit around. I go go collect them. Wait, how? What? Explain that to me. What he are they? was a ghost. Uh, and I went up to him and I talked to him and he went ah, and he thought I was a ghost, so he got <laughs> scared. And then um, I. Sorry, I'm doing two things at once. No, you're. Fine. Uh, his like essence went everywhere. Oh, oh, oh boy, his, <laughs> his oh. ghostliness like shot around, and so I had to run around and collect five pieces of it with a net, and then bring it back to him. And then he gave me a gift. He said he'll be back sometime. Ah, oh, that's, that's nice. Cool. He's, He's very gonna nice. haunt you. Yeah, He's gonna haunt me. Okay, Will, are you on your way to? I uh, am on uh, my way. The uh, island. I am typing in the code Metineo, name. named after the Great Spirit. <laughs> Who's the Great Spirit? Oh. After where he gave to us the Matoran, the three virtues. Oh, oh boy. Unity, duty, and destiny. <laughs> and I sometimes I wish there was a uh, Bionicle uh, MMO. Don't even get me started. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. There are if some... I had a time machine, I would go back in time and tell them not to make Bionicle. <laughs> there are folks in Russia who are doing a full conversion of Skyrim. I have been for several years doing a full conversion of Skyrim to make Bionicle. Wow. wow. Did you ever Actually, uh, play uh, Lego Universe? Was that the MMO? I was in the beta for Lego Universe, but then when it went, when it got released, it was a $60 bay for the base game and then a monthly subscription fee of like $15 that I, as a 14 year old, was not able to pay and couldn't convince my parents to do so. But that, that was when I was like beginning to have kind of an idea of the gaming scene and, and mar our parents are going to buy this for their kids and pay a monthly subscription fee. Uh, and then and it was like three months later, it was like half off. You could get the base game for $30 and it was still a subscription fee. And then like three months later, it was down to like $10. And then like a year and a half later, they turned off the server. Yeah, I remember playing the beta and just being like, this doesn't seem great. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Jake, if I had a time machine, I would go back in time. I would get rid of Bionicle, but I would leave one of the instruction booklets at your house. And so you'd be the only person who would ever like, be like, no, it's real. I'm telling you it's like, real. Worldwide gaslighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have to think of new things to do with like, like when someone asked if you had a million dollars or if you had one wish, and it's always been get rid of sports. And now that that's happened, I have to <laughs> think of something else. Yeah, now that... But there are no more sports. Uh, it's awful. I like don't know what to do. I guess I, can I actually get rid of so, Formula One. Kyle, every once in a while, when you're interacting mm. with um, villagers, they might, uh, depending on their personalities, there are some that are like jocks and some that are artsy, and they might ask you questions, be like, "Hey, do you like sports? Do you like fishing?" And so, and they'll say like, "Hey, what sports do you like?" And there'll be a list of responses and. And sometimes you can put in a custom one. Hi, um, welcome to Mixer. And so, um, what? Community with us. Before we get started, there are. What? What's, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Kyle was, was watching. From Kyle. <laughs> um. What was I saying? Hey, oh, can I convinced one of my villagers that my favorite sport was competitive Fortnite. So now sometimes he asks me about it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, can I have all your peaches? Uh, yeah, dude, take as many peaches as oh, you want. There's oh, also coconut. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. My, uh, I can't hear anything anymore. That was so loud. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, that actually, like, hurt. Alright, give thought me it was a second. Me we'll meet in the plaza, and then I'll take <laughs> you to my house. Oh, Savage says if it's raining at the dock, a level 6 fish, the Oria, will have a chance to spawn. Ooh, gotta love those chances. I also heard fishing with bait from the dock is supposed to be fantastic. Yes, I've gotten a, a, a 
Arlen and uh, Tuna from the dock by doing that. Or from the pier. Oh, yeah, pier, pier. Yeah, pier, pier. Because you can also check in your... Once you've caught the fish, you can check in the um, Critterpedia, and it'll tell you where you can find it. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I keep using food and everything, and I have yet to catch... Other than a football fish, fish which I've caught about 18 times, I've yet Wait, to catch anything. Wait, what do you mean by... Been using food and not bait? No, like fish bait. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I forgot what it was called. But I can't seem to catch... Um, any sort of, Karen's caught like a big oar fish and everything. Oh, so was the oar fish in the aquarium from her? Yeah. Because I saw that there was one in there. Yeah, don't remind me. I'm sorry. We can go check out my aquarium too after we uh, check out my house. I want to see your accomplishment. So we can do that. <laughs> we can look at the insects instead, or because we didn't look at that wing. Unless Kyle doesn't want to get spoiled. What, what are we these do one leaves? Leaves, figure. That's a pile of leaves, man. I crafted that. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was like I skillfully or crafted this pile of leaves. I was afraid I would blow it over. All okay. Right, you guys, am I showing off my house? Yeah. Okay. I'll get the rest of it. Where are you? Oh. Where did you go? Oh, man. This person's got a nice outdoor set. Love it. Oh, yeah. I set up. That's Teddy's house. Teddy's the, the, the jock who I convinced I was into competitive Fortnite. He's probably in there if you want to go say him. But, yeah, I've been furnishing his house. I'm uh I'm at the plaza. Okay. Heading back to the plaza. 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 Play the plaza. The plazio. Alright. <laughs> Build the plazio. <laughs> okay, so this is my house. Please don't run through the flower. Freaking nerd. I know. Sorry. Oh, I'm next. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Jerk! We just, I thought we were gonna get stuck there. <laughs> wasn't doing anything for a while. Oh wow. It's fairly furnished, and there's several rooms. Wow, Jake's been playing this game hard. Oh, boy. As How do you already wait have a minute. more rooms? He's got three rooms. Emma, you probably spent like a million bells so far. Right? <laughs> I've, no, so it was 98 for the first one, and then it was like 100-something, and then 300-something. It, it was 198. So then I think second. it was like 345, and now I'm trying to pay off one that's like 548, and okay. I'm... I've got like 150 left. Wow, so you're like 650, did, 800 mil. Jake, did your well, second well, so expansion a... take two days or one day? One day? Okay, for me, for some reason for me, it took two days. I don't know why. So there, I'm thinking that, um, have you guys met Harvey? Yeah. Weinstein? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a like hip, hippie dog named Harv who was wandering around and he invited me to an island that's like a photography studio which i don't fully understand the purpose of but it is a it, i think it's the final layout of how the house will be so i think that you'll end up paying off enough loans that you'll have this main room back room two side rooms and then a basement and an attic um hmm. so much space so that's crazy that's what six rooms mm -hmm. wow but uh, you are also being taped. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> I hear it. Oh, it's it's hard to see. Mm-hmm. You gotta oh. pivot the camera mm -hmm. around. There it is. Uh, uh, you're being monitored. <laughs> I think I didn't take Wait, my are butt you, out. Are you talking about the the light above this back door? No, no, turn no, the no. Camera around. Over the front door. I kind of wish it it was easier to see stuff. Like on the top two sections of the wall, it's hard. Not see it very well. No, I can see it, but it's just like the generic, like the first two or three camera views, hide stuff at the top level of the wall. So if you put anything up there, it's just kind of hidden in a bad way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was putting outfits on the wall, like hat, glasses, shirt, pants, shoes. And it kind of stinks because you can't see the hats. Mm. Now I have. There's a couple of, of of local sites around the island that I'm that I could show you guys. Yeah, let's do it. Wee! Oh, you guys are inside each other. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. PG thirteen <laughs> will party house. 
Okay, so I've been trying to just beautify the island and make it... Oh, yeah, that's Mr. Flamingo. Which is interesting because I have a flamingo uh, villager. <laughs> we can, uh, can go Do you think you have a naked Shiva. version of him? Right, come to the plaza. Build a plaza. Let's go <laughs> build a plaza. <laughs> um, so past Teddy's house, there's a little, um, like, uh, I made oh, this little away. hangout area by the rocks. Uh, um, and then... Oh, I want to make a I dump. I saw, I think it was Bob Wash made a dump. Really like just cool. a trash dump? Yeah. Well, the dump is from... Um, there was a dump in the first game where you could recycle stuff, but I think that that's the recycling bin in this game. Um, so further north here, there's uh, some ancient ruins. <laughs> Ooh, that's I cool. Peaches. I don't want ancient... This I got. Gulliver sent me this in the mail after I Whoa. got his friends to not ghost oh, him anymore. Oh, he sent me the Easter Island head. That's where I Gulliver. I wish uh, I and then there's, an another, there's another uh, coastal camp out this way. This is Eunice's house. She just moved in today, so I don't know if she's unpacked yet. I'll go check. One of the Kennedys. <laughs> And then this is Flora, the Flamingo's house. I don't know if she's seen Mr. Flamingo or not. Oh, yeah, she's not unpacked yet. Savage says in the Nintendo Direct Mini, the Easter event zipper will hide eggs, but the eggs can be hidden like fish. So I believe that starts mm -hmm. April 1st. Yeah, and then there's an update. The... Was that Nintendo Direct Mini, was that announced beforehand, or did they just drop that? I feel I like they, they just dropped, dropped it. it. I didn't see anything about it until a bunch of people were telling me that... Um, yeah. Pod racer was coming to Switch. Oh, was I first? <laughs> yeah. You were the first. Yes. But like four people <laughs> sent me that at different times during to, during the day. <laughs> I was so Everyone excited. Knew. I literally saw the like Jedi Academy thing. I was like, oh, that's cool. And they're like, they're like, and also Star Wars Racer. And I go, what? <laughs> <gasps> oh my what god. You... What if I played? I, so I played Speed Racer a couple years ago. Speed uh, Racer? <laughs> yeah, Speed Racer. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I called so it Speed Racer. Housekeeping? <laughs> Not just because it's a mistake, but I don't know if you guys remember, that game is very, very fast and very, very difficult when you crank the difficulty up. Oh, it's yeah. like it's like F Zero. It's insane. And I just thought, what if I played the PC version in VR with with a wheel and pedals? That would be outrageous. That would be incredible. Be insane. I would probably. The rest of the All right. So that's more or less uh, my island. Uh, I, I might like steal it. your idea of having like nice little settings, you know, yeah, so set th pieces. This area is, this part of the island is going to be all apples. Um, oh, you're talking Dizzy? He loves snacks. <laughs> he loves snacks. He, looks like he, a... he loves snacks. And Teddy was bullying him earlier and telling him he should eat healthier. Um, Savage says that Harvey's Island is for Animal Crossing Amiibo. Oh, oh I have so okay. many. I got I've, rid of them. Did, have I told you guys about my amiibo? No. I don't have them anymore. I actually got rid of them about a year and a half ago, and I bought a 3D printer with the proceeds. Nice. I Guess how many two. amiibo I had. It sounds like a lot if you were able to buy 50? a 3D printer. <laughs> okay, uh, Cal's guess is 50. Jake, what's your guess? I'm just, I'm trying to think of, I've seen your 3D printer, and I'm trying to calculate how, where it is on the on the scale of consumer to pro, and then how much that would cost. I don't know. I'm going to say like 100 and uh, a meal. I'm going to say 35. I had 62 amiibo. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That's I had a lot. problem. I had a problem. I have, I have two. <laughs> I, have, I will admit, though, I just bulk bought them over like nine months, and then I, I stopped 20? buying them. And then eventually 20? I sold them for, it was like four or $500. So I got like at least like 60% of my money back. But that was... was but definitely me when I first got into records. I was like, just I would always go to the record store and like buy crap that I didn't need. And now I'm yeah. like super, super selective. I'm like, I can't have that in my collection. Yeah. So I don't no, have I, any amiibo now, but I'm fine with it. I have six uh, Animal Crossing amiibos, but I have about a hundred Happy Home Designer amiibo cards. Oh, cards. Oh, all awesome. of them. Um, because I was suckered into buying a bunch of those by my brain. Yep. <laughs> That sounds about right.
That darn brain. Well, I guess. Yeah. Where'd y'all oh, go? Probably, y'all want to take a group photo or something? We wrap this boy up? Yeah, yeah. where should we, where should we take it? Let's go. I've got some, I've got some, well, I've got some tires over here, and we can, there's three of them in a row. Oh, all, that's a, it all sit on you one. You could Photoshop my face okay, onto Jake. one of them. I feel like Jake should be in the middle. This is his island. <laughs> oh, no, I'm right. good. Nope, oh, in the middle. <laughs> okay. Whims of Ian, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Makes <perfect>. sense. <laughs> Why can't I pivot? <laughs> okay, hold on. I have to go to the other oh, side. Wait. Apparently. Should we take several photos? No, no, that's too common. I was going to say photos like a mugshot, like front. Turn left, turn right. <laughs> oh, oh no, we don't need to do that. That's too much. That's too much. Okay, everyone want to do reactions? Yeah, let's yep. do reactions. Hold on, which reaction? Okay, wait. Oh, let let me know when you're going to take again. it. Okay, Three, yeah. two, one. <laughs> Perfect. Nailed That's it. That's a good pick. That's good guys and then we gotta Great get job, kyle guys. we gotta get you in here we'll have to do this again yes yeah we'll no, this is the last again during the day <laughs> yeah, yeah i was thinking maybe like maybe like two weeks from now during the day that gives us enough time to build out and for kyle yeah. to get started i mm -hmm. should have my my elgato by then Wait. yeah that'd be cool oh i'm gonna relax here well folks yeah my beach chair. that I'm trying to make, I'm trying to get I ordered two more of those to make this more street. like a beach beachy. I want this to be like sandals. Oh yeah. 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 Perfect. Okay. Let's sneeze on. Hello, me. it's me. It's just me now. <laughs> Animal Crossing is gone. Let's forget about it. Because you should be remembering that subpixelfilms.com goes to our YouTube channel where you can watch the Iceland documentary that Kyle edited and the rest of us did. probably did a little bit of on. Um, no, we went to Iceland. Uh, we, shot this, <laughs> we shot this isolation game jam. It was awesome. Check it out. Um, yeah, subpixelfilms.com brings you right to our YouTube. You should subscribe, and then you should watch everything and like it and comment on it, because that would be great. Um, joining me tonight was my faithful and trusty steed, whom I mount daily, Ian Gibson. PG-13. <laughs> You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. Uh, PG13 at Think Gibson on PG13. Joining me also all the way from Bionicle Land, uh, <laughs> known as Yggdrasil, <laughs> um, the tree of giving life, uh, was Jake Terrio. That's me. That's him. That's him. What, where are you oh, on Twitter? You for life. What's what? You're, no, you're nowhere on Twitter. To, how do we, how do we lost content. it? And also joining me was Kyle. Kyle's never played an <laughs> Animal Crossing game. He's going to play it this week. It's going to be incredible. He's going to do a video on it. We're holding him to it. If he doesn't do it, we're going to kill him. It's going to be great. Kyle, where can people find you on Twitter or anywhere, really? They can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Kyle of the Beard. And yes, I will be making an Animal Crossing video at some point. Just waiting on the Delgato. Yeah, the Delgato, the Del Taco. I'm Will. You can find me at Hunt270. This was, you saw my Animal Crossing island, Jotunheim, which uh, is great, and it's a place of love and pears. Uh, until next time, we are Subpixel, subpixelfilms.com forward slash nothing, because there isn't anything there. Uh, <laughs> join us on Thursday. Today's Thursday. Join us on Tuesday. I think Nobody we're knows playing. What day it is anymore. Are we playing more Minecraft, Ian? Uh, Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday is going to be the finale. Tuesday. Minecraft finale. Minecraft finale of uh, Infinity Evolved mod. It's incredible. We're I'm making nuclear power. I'm making a laser mining drill. It's crazy. Anyways, join us then. Until then, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful evening and a wonderful life. Bye!